Hey, what is up my friends? Today we are going to be talking about how to burn stubborn belly fat. Body fat, belly fat, same thing. <laughs> Because that's where it is, right? Before I get into this, uh, I do want to tell you about our sponsor. No, I don't have any sponsor today. I just, I'm, I'm actually wearing this cool shirt, though, that is from American Boxing, which is where I do Muay Thai, the best Muay Thai class in, in PB, San Diego. Really cool. Really will get your ass kicked there. But you'll learn some shit, and you'll become a tougher person, so... Uh, shout out to Dave from American Boxing for giving me this shirt as well. A lot of people give me shirts. It's cool though. I like shirts. How do we burn stubborn belly fat? Okay. Here's the thing. First of all, I'll tell you this. There's no conclusive proof of a good way to spot reduce fat. But at the end of this video, I am going to tell you about one study that may prove otherwise. In general, you should plan on getting to a low body fat percentage to burn belly fat. I know that a lot of people want to sell you shit and, and, and tell you some other things, but the main thing that you're going to do to burn the stubborn belly fat, right? And we all oh, have it. We all have it. Okay. You got to get to low body fat percentage, right? So we're talking, you know, probably 10% sub 10% to really get rid of the, the stubborn belly fat that's there. I've got some pictures of me at about 8% body fat and you can see still lower abs and kind of back that there's still fat there. So you gotta really, it depends genetically, but you really gotta get to really, really low to, to burn that, okay? So don't count on doing sit-ups or ab exercises. That shit's not gonna work. It's gonna build the muscles, that's great. It'll let you see your abs at a, at a higher body fat percentage, right? So I'm at a fairly high body fat percentage right now, but you can see my abs pretty damn clear, right? But you can tell I've got a lot of fat down here, right? I'm, I'm cutting, but look at my abs, right? I mean, you can see them, the four here. You can't see the lower, right? But yeah, I'm at like 13 something percent body fat right now. Doing a bunch of crunches and doing a bunch of ab exercises is not going to actually spot reduce and burn that. You're just gonna have to get to a low percentage. So here's the other piece of this, okay? Uh, this is mostly gonna be controlled by diet. All right, so you're gonna have to diet, like even running, even doing cardio is not gonna burn the stubborn belly fat. I mean, it's gonna burn some calories, but it's gonna be 90% diet. Check out my series, I've got a series on how to lose fat, okay? Go check that out, go through that playlist, it's like 13 videos or something, it'll be in the description below as well, and you'll learn about fasting, you'll learn about the most effective way, but it's gonna come down to diet. Diet is gonna be the most important thing. Focus on diet, not cardio, okay? Uh, abs are made in the kitchen, this is, this is very true. I have a theory, it's not proven, but it's my theory, which I've coached a lot of people, so I've got some, some evidence to this, which is, is that if you continually lose and gain weight over time, fat accumulates in your trouble areas. So I've got some, you know, some definite trouble areas that have really accumulated a lot. Like they're really hard, like at very, very low body fat percentages, I still have like lower back fat. And, and, and lower abs, like it doesn't seem to like disappear. And I think a lot of it is because of the fact that I've gone up and down a lot. Okay, over my, now I've maintained pretty steady for the last like five or six years since I did my bigger transformation and had the more of the mental transformation. But my theory is that if you keep on doing that, you eventually have a, create a bigger problem for yourself, which sucks, because it's better to have a more distributed fat distribution than the concentrated one because you're gonna look worse with a concentrated one. So I just fucked myself, so there you go. <laughs> so so, th so this applies obviously like to explain your problem if you're older and you feel like you've got these really bad stubborn areas, you probably caused it. Like most, most of the people I talk to, so that sucks. So you probably have to get really fucking low like to get rid of it, maybe like five, six percent body fat, which is probably unattainable for most people. So you might just have to live with it. Uh, it just depends on how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? The other implication of this is that if you're young, don't get fat. <laughs> if you get fat and you lose the, even if you lose the weight. So if you're bulking and shit, clean bulk, bulk, you know, somewhat slowly, don't go up like 40 pounds and then cut. Not worth it because you'll probably have that fat accumulation that will happen. That's just my theory. Try fasting, intermittent or long term. This is gonna be a great way, right? Just to learn, lose fat in general. Right now, I'm fasting all day today. So I have like crazy, I eat one meal a day, but I can drop weight like a motherfucker when I am fasting and doing cardio. You know, you just get used to, make sure you're lifting in the gym so that you don't lose the muscle and uh, you'll keep the muscle while losing the fat. 
that's a great way to, to do that. So is there actually a way to burn stubborn belly fat? So I'm going to shout out to my boy, Jeff Nippard. Okay. He's got a video here. He did a myth bust video on spot reduction. Okay. <laughs> and at the end of his video, he pointed to a study that shows that exercise before long steady state cardio may spot reduce. May. It's not substantiated enough yet, but it may be possible to spot reduce or to burn stubborn belly fat by doing a bunch of, by activating that muscle, right, under where that fat is, a bunch before you do cardio, like immediately doing steady state cardio afterwards. If that proves to be true, that's pretty cool and it's pretty useful, but we're a far, a, a pretty long way from, from proving that. But it's probably worth it. So my in my mindset, I'm thinking, well, shit, if I'm going to go for a run, I might as well do a bunch of crunches before I go for the run and it's not going to hurt me, but maybe it'll help, help me to spot reduce. I should actually try to like do some experiment and measure this and see uh, you know, how well that works. But hey, it's something that you could try. So yes, there might be a way to burn stubborn belly fat. Maybe. We'll see what happens. If it works for you, let me know. I'd like to, I'd like to know so that I don't have to go through the pain of doing it. No. <laughs> I'd like to know though if it actually works. Uh, I'm a little skeptical if it'll, if it'll actually work. Basically, the best thing that you can do is get down to a lower body fat percentage. That's the key. And uh, yeah, that's just the unfortunate truth of it. All right. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.